time for another fairy loot unboxing. This is the, what month are we in? August. This is the August box. And when you open it up, this is what it looks like. So this month is the things are not what they seem themed box. That's the spoiler card, which as always, I'm not going to look at. So the first thing I see is a candle, which says Thomas Cresswell chocolate coffee flavor. Flavor? Scent. It's a scent. Ooh. That smells exactly like a coffee liqueur, which I'm into. And it's this lovely lilac color. I do, I do enjoy a candle, have to say. Then there's this like plastic tub. It says, ooh, rainbow cutlery set. I actually saw a set like this the other day in the shops and was like, oh, that's so cool. Oh, it's chopsticks. Oh, I love it. I love it chopsticks and a spoon and a fork and they say oh the spoon says mirrors have an uncanny way of telling the truth and the fork says even in the future the story begins with once upon a time that's super super cute and i love that i love that those are going to be reserved for me as well so lee will have to keep his hands off those and I like that they come in this cute little Tupperware so that they can be carried around. I might actually use those for work. That's a good idea. I might take those and use them at work. My new job. And then there's a set of scrunchies which are really cute. I can't really tell what they've got. One of them's got keys on, one of them's got bow and arrows on and the other one's got daggers on. They are so so cute then we have a pocket mirror that i think that those symbols are from the elven language from lord of the rings i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure that's right then we've got a pencil case I'm guessing that's what this is and it says the merciful crow on one side and one way or another we always feed the crows on the other side and then it's just like black cushiony felt stuff on the inside it's really cute but again I have no idea what the fandom is I'm really sorry I'm so rubbish at knowing what fandoms there are then there's a cushion cover Ooh which has some lovely artwork on one side and then some writing on the other that says you will burn for you are an ember in the ashes by Saba Tahir which if you didn't see it is on my top 10 TBR list so hopefully I will be getting to that soon and this is a really good quality pillow and I need to buy some pillow fillings because this is the second cushion cover that I've got from Fairy Loot and I really like them both but I haven't been able to put them on any cushions yet because I don't have any cushion fillings so I need to get on that oh my god so I knew that there was going to be a Mistborn themed item in this box which I mean if you watch my channel you know I'm kind of slightly obsessed with Brandon Sanderson so that made me very excited and it's a metal bookmark and it's it's so cool it's so cool let them see my weakness and let them see me overcome it which is a Vin quote which is even better because I love Vin and oh my gosh this is just so freaking cool and I'm definitely going to be displaying it on my Sanderson shelf. That, that's my favourite thing that I've ever had in a fairy loot box I think. Which is a broad statement because I did love the blanket in the collector's edition box for Caraval but I do love Brandon Sanderson so. Then we have our Harry Potter themed tarot cards for the month. So we have the Hanged Man and the Star. 
which look like this. This one's very clearly Harry Potter and I'm pretty sure this must be Ginny. Even though she's holding books, she doesn't have frizzy hair. And then we come on to the book and I actually have absolutely no idea what the book is this month. I've read the description and it sounds very interesting with magic around something to do with teeth. I don't know. Sounds really cool anyway, but no idea. But first off, the items in the pouch are the monthly themed bookmark, the art print with the signed author letter, and the fairy scoop which confirms that next month's theme is Witches Be Crazy with items inspired by fandom neutral but witchy type stuff. Great sentence, Sophia. Good job. And then the book, oh, okay. So the book is The Merciful Crow, which explains this pencil case that I didn't know the fandom of. So this is the book this month. I've never even heard of this before, but oh my God. Okay, so the end papers are beautiful. The naked hardcover has embossing and there is a reversible dust jacket which is stunning as well wowza that's really cool i'm just going to leave the dust jacket off for a minute it is also signed by the author let's read the synopsis a future chieftain, a fugitive prince, a two cunning bodyguard, and one grumpy grey tabby. Yes. Fee abides by one rule, look after your own. As the future chieftain of a shunned cast of mercy killers, she relies on her wits and bone magic, drawn from the teeth of dead witches, to protect her band. The crows take more abuse than coin, so when they're called to collect the royal dead, Fee hopes they'll find the payout of a lifetime. When Fee discovers that Crown Prince Jasimir and his crafty bodyguard Tavin have faked their deaths to escape the ruthless Queen Rosanna, she's ready to cut her losses and perhaps their throats but Jas offers a deal that she can't refuse. Make sure he lives to see the throne and he'll protect the crows when he reigns. To outrun and outwit the queen, the trio forge an uneasy alliance that is soon tested by old secrets, shifting alliances and forbidden feelings. As Rosanna and her band of deadly trackers loom ever closer, the three fugitives must discover what they're each willing to sacrifice to save their own which sounds very interesting. And I'm looking forward to picking it up. Definitely sounds very, very different, which is great. And I'm now even more excited by this artwork. It looks pretty badass, which I quite, I quite like. And I will probably reverse this dust jacket and display the uh, reversible dust jacket because it's stunning. But as usual, another super strong box from Fairy Loot. They are killing it as always. What was your favourite item? I really love the bookmark, as I may have mentioned, but I also like the cutlery as well. That's very, very cool. And like I said, I probably take that with me to have in my drawer at work. But that's it for this one. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more like this from me, then do think about hitting that subscribe button. And I hope to see you here again soon. Thanks. Bye.